Restaurante, the Spanish word for restaurant. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today, we're starting in the center of Linares again because we're talking about restaurants. My favorite thing about Chile, maybe, there are a lot of things, is probably the food. And you all know I love the bread, the marraqueta, almost any kind of bread, okay, any kind of bread here I absolutely love. But there are more things to have and more delicious food, especially in the summertime. So, Let's go uh, explore the restaurants today around the town centers in Chile. And today we're, I think, gonna stick around uh, a Linares today because I'm, you know, I love this thing so much. It's so much fun. Here we go. So one of the first things that I noticed when Elise and I moved here with our dog to Chile almost five years ago now was that for dinner, to go and eat, typically a gringo would eat around, well at least my family, around six o'clock. So we tried to go and eat around six o'clock in Santiago, nothing open, nothing. So we waited till 6.30, we were like, oh maybe it's like a national holiday, something like that. Nope. Still not open, not a national holiday, we checked. And then uh, we found out that, well, typically here in Chile you don't eat dinner, and dinner is like an once until later, and then lunch typically you don't eat until like 1.30. So 1.30 lunch and dinner time around 7.30 is when they would open those restaurants. Maybe it's changed in the last almost five years, but that was our experience, which was crazy to me because we were super hungry. And I feel like there were a lot of visitors who were also hungry and had no place to go and eat. Maybe it's changed, I don't know, but if you're coming here to Chile, just get ready to eat a little bit, a little bit later. I'm totally used to it now, but uh, I feel like there are a lot of people who have that same problem. So when I was in high school, I actually got made fun of quite a bit because uh, I wore green, green shorts, green shirt, red hair, and people thought that uh, I looked like a pumpkin. Anyways, back at it. Thank you, uh, Float Life, for sending me this jacket. It's pretty cool. But the restaurants here are super cheap for lunch. 2,500 pesos, which right now in dollars is probably like three US dollars, and you get a ton of food. You get the salad or soup or something like that, and then you get your entree, which is a ton of food, and then uh, you also get dessert. Sometimes too, which I thought was a little weird, but awesome, I mean a really good weird, is that they have fresh fruit juice. And for us, coming from the United States, fresh fruit juice is like, I mean, you pay a lot for that, but here it just comes with the meal, and it's so, so good. Also good, if you don't want the fruit juice, which I don't know why you wouldn't. You have uh, the choice of wine, which is also, especially here in Chile, so, so delicious. But we're not actually eating at that restaurant there. I'm actually uh, going on our first date in, uh, I think, maybe, I don't, I don't know, a long time. I'm going to pick Elise up for uh, a little date. And because it's our first date in a long time, I'm sure she's gonna love having, uh, having this camera here with us, so. Uh, I want to show you guys the restaurants and uh, let's go do it with Elise. So we're at the restaurant right now. Elise looks so beautiful. It's our first date in like two years. Maybe not two years, but a long time. But take a look. 
it's 12.20 in the afternoon, so for us gringos, it's time to eat. Usually in the United States, you eat around 12, but here you eat around 1.30. So typically, when we go out to eat, we've got the whole place to ourselves. So nice, so romantic. So the first thing is that there's this delicious salad, which is a little bit different than what we're used to in the United States because it uh, doesn't have any ranch or dressing besides a lemon, which is perfect for Elise because Elise can't have any gluten. For me, I got this uh, soup, which is the other option. Typically there are two options. So I've got this soup that I don't even know exactly what it was. Do you remember? Consume. Consume. That just means to consume it, right? No. <laughs> Delicious. Also, um, for lunch, even though it's hot outside, doesn't matter. You can get tea or juice or sometimes wine. So at least got some tea and I got some delicious juice, which I think is freshly made. It looks like it because there are um, the remnants of the actual fruit inside. So good. And now for the main event. Elise typically gets uh, chicken and rice because it's something that's very gluten-free, no problem there. For me, I can uh, change it up a little bit. So I got this uh, chupe de mariscos, which is uh, pretty dang delicious. It's um, like this soup of different seafoods inside of it with some cheese on it, looks like some merken on it. Oh, it looks so good, oh my goodness. Still have to finish my, uh, my soup, which Elise did inform me because I don't go out to eat very often that it's the, the leftovers from the meat that they eat and it's apparently really healthy. So, consume, is that how you say it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that is delicious. It tastes like seafood. <laughs> so, um, there's nobody else here yet and uh, I just finished my meal. I think there might be some sort of a dessert coming next, but uh, Elise is finishing up, I'm finishing up, my juice is all gone, I ate two pieces of bread which were delicious, and uh, the pebre is pretty much gone. I mean, I could probably just drink it, it's so good. But um, it's kind of crazy, it's like quarter to one, maybe one o'clock, and nobody is here because it is not the time to eat, eat lunch yet. Another half an hour and we packed. I'm positive. This is a really good place, I promise. It's not like something just opened and we're coming to try it for the first time. This place is packed, always, for lunch. And, uh, just not right now. Gracias. But on my trip back to, uh, back to work and editing, I, uh, I thought that I would talk about different kinds of Chilean food because there are so many different kinds of Chilean food that are so good. If you go to the north, you can get that kind of spicy food because you're close to Peru. And we went to Arica and the food in the mountains there was so, so good. I think you can find it in other places, but something called guatita, like stomach, so good. And then the south, there's curanto. Oh, Chiloé curanto made right from the ground is so delicious. And then you get into uh, the soups and things in the winter time, delicious. But my favorite food in the entire, maybe the entire world, but definitely all of Chile, besides the marraqueta, marraqueta is just like one of those things that you just, you always have to eat, is uh, pastel de choclo. Pastel de choclo, if they had it today, I would 100% gotten it. It is absolutely delicious, especially in the summertime when all the choclo is so fresh and so good. You gotta love it. All right, side note from our restaurant talk and food and all that kind of stuff. These guys here are super hungry because, take a look. This, that says Alaska. This guy right here is from Alaska with a motorcycle and he is from uh, Indiana and his name is uh, Scott and David. They came here to Linares to visit me, but really to go and travel from where to where? From Arica in the north to Punta Arenas in the south. <laughs> the whole country, basically. <laughs> That's incredible. And how's the trip so far? 
It's great. It's been great. Yeah. Uh, the people have been wonderful and uh, lots of great scenery. Just no complaints at all. Yeah. Had a couple setbacks, mechanical setbacks, but worked through them and met a lot of wonderful people along the way. Helped us out. It's been great. That's awesome. Yeah. And your favorite food so far? Chacarero. <laughs> Chacarero for him yeah. and I think uh, mechada for me. Mm, <laughs> so good. We're gonna go to a place called Tumbaito right now to get some more delicious food and maybe not just street food but some restaurant food. So let's go and eat some more. All right, so they went for some uh, risotto with, uh, with some fish. How is it? It's very good. It's good. The risotto del mar. Thumbs up. So good. And uh, I just have beer. <laughs> it's the thing about having uh, Moses heat so early, but uh, glad that you guys are enjoying it. I certainly am. What a cool experience to hang out with some guys that flew down here from the United States, Alaska and Indiana. If you don't know where those states are, they, they're right here. But what a cool experience for them too, to go from Arica. I mean, I would love to do this if I knew how to drive a motorcycle, go from Arica all the way down to Punta Arenas. I mean, just to do the Carretera Austral would be a dream come true for me. Dude, check out that, look at the sun back there. That's pretty crazy. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video for today. Leave it below what your favorite food is here in Chile. When you go to a restaurant, what do you like? One thing that I wish that were here was something with a little bit more spice, but that's just completely me. I love spicy food. Elise doesn't like spicy food, so she's okay with no spicy food. I don't know if Moses likes spicy food yet, but I don't think so, so far. But uh, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. But for now, from beautiful, beautiful Linares, there they go. Ciao, Piscout.